Hi everybody! Welcome to day eight of our virtual nails and sales advent calendar. I've gone more festive here today. We have some beautiful tinsel. Got my hat on. I was just running down the stairs and I was just about to go live and I saw my little Phoebe. I've got a little girl, she's three. Um, and and a little boy, and he's five, and they've both got these hats anyway. It's Phoebe's hat on the floor. I was like, oh, I'm gonna put this on. <laughs> Well, it keep me warm because I'm in like my kitchen diner here and it always gets really, really cold. <laughs> it's like, keep me warm while I'm doing this. Um, hi, everybody. Welcome to day eight. Today, we'll be uh, covering Yuletide retailing, which I am really excited to share with you because it can make a massive difference to your businesses. Um, you know, literally, you could make like thousands of pounds by doing like what we're going to talk about today so um if you are watching please come and say hi to me in the comments let me know give me a little thumbs up or something um if you're watching a replay also let me know and if you are watching on youtube later today um so we're uploading all of these onto our nails and sales youtube channel um, please give us a little like, let me know if you've enjoyed it, add a comment, like it is really useful for me to know if anyone's actually watching these things. And also, um, come and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already, because we are putting every single live that we do in the Nails and Sales group in there, so they're all together, super easy for you all to find. So um, if you subscribe there, it means that you'll be notified every time we do a live, so you won't miss out on any of the free trainings that we do. Hi Hayley, how are you? Um, so let me dive straight in. So we're we're discussing Yuletide retailing today. Um, and oh, who's over to say very quick hi from me before I dart off again spreading glitter? Yeah, who has had enough of glitter already or not? I don't think, I mean, do nail techs have enough of glitter? I don't know. I still didn't think I had enough glitter, even after doing like hundreds and hundreds of appointments. I still still love that. Sort of chuck it all over my face all the time. <laughs> I love it when you like come home and it's just like glitter everywhere, like you take a bra off, it's like glitter inside, it's just like everywhere. <laughs> Such a special time of year. Um, right, okay, let me dive in. So I just want to tell a quick story first of all. So like, I know it's not that normal for us to retail stuff. Like as nail techs, like we might retail like a little bit of solar oil, like uh, nail and cuticle oil or something, but it's not like a big thing that a lot of us do and um, especially if we don't have it in a salon so if we're in a salon it's a bit more you know we need to fill the, fill the space with things and, and that and it's a bit easier but any of us that maybe work from home or mobile are probably at the moment less likely to um to retail stuff so and i want to tell you like for the first two years of french and dredge we didn't retail anything other than now and cuticle oil um we sold little tiny ones um and that was it and we didn't do anything. We didn't push anything. We didn't have anything to sell. Uh, I might have bought a couple of bits to sell, but never ever did anything for it. And the reasons being behind that, and let me know if you relate with this, is that um, it was it was fear. It was I was scared of offering my clients something in case I turned them off, in case they were like, oh, all Joe's doing is selling things. And it comes back to this money mindset thing, which I now know loads about. And, <laughs> and I feel like it, it, it's like probably one of the biggest things that you can you can work on and always have success in your business is that, you know, there's this, this feeling that we get of like, right, if I reach out to my clients, then they're going to think I'm greedy or they're just going to think I'm pushy or I'm a salesperson or, you know, oh, they're only coming for their nails. They don't need anything else type like, thoughts and it's like misconceptions fear scared um wasn't even sure whether it was worth doing like and just and so i just didn't do it like let me know anyone that's watching live come and let me know do you currently retail stuff or are you a bit scared of it um <laughs> let me know kind of where we're all at um and then one one time and it was about it was about two or three years into French and Drench, right? And we've barely been retailing anything. And someone's like, it's a massive part. Someone said to me, it's a massive part of your business that you're missing out on. It's it's a hugely profitable area of your business um, that like that you're not like tapping into. And it's and you know, as nail techs, you know, we struggle sometimes to charge decent amounts and to to be able to actually make a decent living doing nails. Like it's one hundred percent possible, by the way. Like because I've got lots and lots of proof that you can definitely earn 5k a month doing nails but I know to start with we're very much like no I can't make any money like or you know it's really hard to make money um um Hayley I'll cover your your comment in just a second um and um and, and anyway so someone said to me like you should give it a go anyway 
I'm like thinking, how can we make more profit for French and James? Like, we need to make more profit. We've got lots of outgoings going. Like, I've got all these plans for it. I want to buy more kits. I want to invest more money into my business. I need more money coming in. And so one, one year, it was like October, November time. It was quite late into the year. And I was suddenly like, we're going to retail this year. Oh, my God. So we did. So I bought all this. I had a little think about what we could do. Um, bought all the stuff. Um, we even set up an online website, but you don't need to do that. Uh, we got some flyers printed out, hand out to all of our clients um, with like gift bags and vouchers and, and products and stuff on them. Um, we sell something called prepaid cards as well. And like I cover all of this like in more depth obviously, over in the Nail Business Success Hub because it can really, really help you to get to these 5K months. Like, you know, retailing is one of the things that's going to help you to get to those 5K months as opposed to, you know, being at those one, two, three K kind of areas. Um, and we and we and we pushed it for for once. We thought, let's give it a go, let's push it. We made over a thousand pounds just on the products that we sold that month. Like, and yes, there wasn't just me, there was a few of us, but it was still like massive. Like, you know, I was still super, super, super chuffed with it. Like, and it was well worth setting it up. It was well worth doing it. And what we found was actually, and now in hindsight as well, and now I know more about it, was actually we were doing a disservice by not offering us the, our, our stuff to our clients. Because, and, and let me know as well, like in the comments, has anyone ever found this? That they've gone to their clients and their clients are like, oh, I picked up this soda oil somewhere else. Or, oh, I've got this hand cream from so-and-so. Or I've got this from there. And you're like, I could be selling that stuff and I'm not, and I'm letting them go out and I'm letting them, the worst thing is when someone's like, oh, I got this cute core razor or I got this, whatever it is from Amazon, like, and you're thinking, it's not even real. And like, you're buying like counterfeit stuff most likely and I could be selling it to you and you, and we are doing our clients a disservice by not selling the stuff to them because they are going out and buying it anyway from non-authorized like places where, you know, we don't know how long that product's been out there for, where it's come from, if it's even the real thing. Um, and, you know, a lot of the time, like, yeah, okay, you might have a look. Like, I know sometimes I've had a look and it's like, oh, I can get it like way cheaper online. Like, but they don't care. Like, and this is the other couple of points I want to make around it is that, like, one, your clients want to support you and they want ease. Like, you know, I buy, I never used to, but now, like, I buy, like, the conditioner and the stuff that I need, like, for my blonde hair from the hairdressers. Now, before, I would never do that because the hairdressers was just like, yeah, do you want any shampoo, conditioner to buy it? No. Of course, I'm going to say no. But my current hairdressers, they actually tell me the benefits of buying it from them. They tell me the, like, you know, the reasons why I should be using it, the benefits to myself, how it's going to improve my life, how it's going to improve my hair. And so, and I buy it from them because, okay, yes, I could probably maybe go and source it for one or two pounds cheaper online maybe but i've got the faff of finding it make sure i've got the right one like blah, blah 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 so i would and i actually want to support them i want to support my hairdresser i want her to get the commission from it so i would rather buy it from them and a lot of your clients will feel exactly the same and lastly like it's totally okay for you to sell to your clients um like you know i'm just um like just like we always talk about like with upselling and with like actually charging a decent amount like you know your clients you know, they, they kind of expect it nowadays. Like wherever you go, people are likely to be like trying to sell you stuff. Like it's just what happens. Like every time you go online, every time you go on Facebook, every time you go into a shop, like, you know, and they're, they're, and you don't have to be pushy around it. And we were never pushy about it, but it's, it's that first point of actually even letting them know that you do real retail in the first place. Um, so Haley's point said, I'm worried that clients won't pay brand prices when they can go to Superdrug, etc., for a lot cheaper. Um, so my, my kind of reaction and, and thoughts on this, Haley, is that you could say that about every single thing in the world, like every product in the world, every service in the world has a very low base point and a very high base point, like paper clips, for example. You can go buy a paper clip for probably half a penny in a pack, like, you know, I don't know, 20 or whatever for a pound, like you they're under a penny each tiffany sell a paper clip for two thousand pounds like you literally you can buy and not everyone wants cheap stuff like they don't i don't want to go into super drug and buy my shampoo and conditioner because i have my nice conditioner sitting up in my um in my bathroom sometimes my skanky bathroom because i'm not that good at cleaning um 
<laughs> there we go. I'm human. Um, but I like to have nice stuff and I don't want to go to Superdrug and buy that stuff. Like, yeah, okay, I'm probably going to get it cheaper, but I've got to go in there, I've got to queue up, it's going to be a hassle, there's going to be loads of kids screaming in there. Like, I just want to buy my nice stuff and have it at home. Um, maybe said I need to stop judging people by my standards just because I couldn't afford it doesn't mean they can't yeah and it is it is so so true and also if you can get out of that mindset then it will be a case that in the not too near distant future that you also will be able to afford that as well and that you can have all of those things so yeah it is you know don't judge a book by its cover and don't judge a book based on your own feelings and beliefs on something either um okay cool Thanks, Carla. I'm loving my hat as well. I'm loving pink and red together, like the clash. Does anyone else love that? Has anyone else got stuff like that? Um, right, anyway, have an amazing, 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 amazing day. Enjoy the 8th of December, everybody. Um, go live big, and I will see you all tomorrow for day nine. Bye.